if you get hit in the face with over 20 feet of storm surge, that shit is unsurvivable. Unsurvivable is the word of the day. Asterisk, let's check out this message from Noah Bergerin. Surge threat per NWS Tallahassee. Danger of catastrophic and potentially unsurvivable storm surge for Appalachee Bay. If realized a nightmare scenario for Appalachee Bay, please take evacuation orders very seriously. Category four plus predicted Hurricane Helene will make landfall sometime Thursday, somewhere between here and here, and bring up to 20 feet of storm surge. That is where the ocean takes over part of the land. As of right now, there is virtually no traffic in the Florida areas that may or may not be evacuating. I'm under the impression Floridians almost like pride themselves on surviving hurricanes. So for those who are staying and riding this thing out, I send you positive vibes, well wishes, and prayers for the safety of you, your friends, your family, your animals. I gotta say, I at no point in time regretted leaving Houston, evacuating to DFW for Harvey. I didn't want to be around for 50 inches of rain, and I didn't want my car getting all screwed up. And I didn't want to deal with power outages. So my Thor News recommendation, pretty much no matter where you live, if you live along the coast, if it's a major hurricane and that's a three and above, I would leave if you can. And this thing is definitely a monster. I mean, the whole system is giant. You have the tropical moisture here, here, all up here. And this is going to maintain hurricane strength, Helene, all the way through like Georgia, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina. I, I think I left out a state or two. It is officially expected to be Category 4. Storm tomorrow, which means Category 5 cannot be ruled out. Category 5 is as bad as it gets. There's no Category 6. Um, catastrophic wind, storm surge, inland flooding are all on the table. And then there are those rain, bane, rain band arms. I mean, look at that thing. This whole thing is one giant Popeye arm of heavy rain. And this will be pushing ahead. So we'll have the chance to just train over and over so one area can get hit with rain and a lot of rain over an extended period of time. Everybody loves pink, the color, except when it leads to catastrophic wetness. And so they, these are the two catastrophic rainfall areas from the first day of the land blowing hurricane and then So, you know, the red is was already really bad, but the pink or purple, I guess, is really, really bad. And today, or yesterday, there were reports that we shot down, the USA shot down a UFO over Alaska in August of 2023, or somewhere around there. So, you know, there's always a chance that, like, if, if World War III breaks out, that, that's unsurvivable. So pray for peace and do what you can. It almost feels like, you know, everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen in the election 40 days from now. It's like any possible peace treaties and truces between anyone is on hold till then. Seems weird. You know, it would be great if everyone could get along and work together as one Earth family. Solve all these crazy problems we're dealing with these days and the possibility of AI or interdimensional demons or or... You know, just uh, outer space aliens from other systems. What was I talking about? These are super crazy days. 
And so I hope you stay cool and make all the right decisions for you, your family, your friends, your pets, if you are involved in this hurricane situation. Lieutenant Dan, it. And then we'll probably have another hurricane coming or another big monster storm coming in 10 days from now. We got an eclipse coming up in a week ish. Right now we're in the Bardo in between the purgatory, between the two eclipses and eclipse season. And uh, yeah, September's been quite a month and what a summer. Um, you got a bunch of mandatory or voluntary evacuation areas up. Like I said, if you're in those areas, that choice is up to you. Remember, I've had a YouTube channel for almost 13 years now. I've been doing this covering hurricanes and many other things. And the weird conspiracy theory engagement farmers that always pop up. There's like a whole channel. I believe it has like twice as many subscribers as I do. And their whole thing is like, hurricanes are totally fake. Anyway, a variation of that. Um, Usually comes with the line what do you notice anywho but they were like hurricane helene magically appears on the weather channel this is all harp so you know i don't know how that helps the situation overall but maybe makes people be like all right if somebody is geoengineering it and trying to make it really bad maybe we should evacuate i know people are crazy these days where well, i guess you've got people Blame the 71 Ohio tornadoes in 2024 on Haitian voodoo. <laughs> you know, oh, I think that solar eclipse that we had over the United States of America this year, that was going to lead to a super wild hurricane season, amongst other things. I mean, I remember the hurricane season of 2017 when we had that total solar eclipse over the USA. 2017 was a wild year, yo. Uh, and the ocean is rocket fuel for hurricanes. Oh, yeah. Plus, we're nearing solar maximum, which always ups the energy. Man, they're like open AI to remove nonprofit control, giving Sam Altman $150 billion in equity. And I'm like, whoa. Who knew the race for artificial intelligence would be so filled with drama? And I know a bunch of people are like, I can't wait to go to Mars. I'm like, well, yeah, I can't wait to get a hug from Blackpink or whatever. Reed Timmer, PhD, Hurricane Helene could produce an unsurvivable. And they haven't really used that word during hurricane season. So I guess some Floridians take it as a challenge. Astro Fight Club style definitely survive this thing one way or another. Got to evacuate or not. And then, like, Mario is like, hey, UN Security Council holds emergency meeting on Lebanon, France, proposed 21-day truce. And maybe a Ukraine and Russia 21-day truce. Definitely through Christmas. But like I said, I get the feeling, the overall vibe is the major power players are going to wait till after the election or whatever. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Pray for peace, y'all. Wasn't it earlier this week where they blew, like, a thousand dudes' dicks off with pagers? I mean, that's the, where the craziest this is at and the artificial general intelligence isn't even here yet how weird will it get when that happens i guess we'll only find out i mentioned another hurricane possible in the future this is steve i don't know exactly what steve is but i think steve is cool and i appreciate y'all for listening hanging out with me in such interesting times 71 ohio tornadoes is going to be my scout band name cover band and this storm could produce a shit ton of tornadoes. Uh, I don't think it'll produce that many, but it could. Mathematically, I don't think you can rule it out. But I mean, this, all these, if you're in any of these states, I would pay attention to the weather patterns and stuff. And, you know, definitely try to save yourself, your family, your animals, and your vehicle. Do you remember that live song, Lightning Crashes? Well, this song would be Blimp Crashes, I guess. But it's not a song, it's just a video. I don't think anyone's hurt. That's why I have a flippant attitude about this air balloon. And space liberdade. Crashing. Strange days, indeed. We need to do, we need to do what we can to keep it together. 
I hope I survive to see Blackpink in 2025. There's so much going on right now. I mean, you got tropical storm watches in multiple states, which is not the norm. So make me proud. Planned Air Defense Commander style, survive. I know they're saying unsurvivable. Figure it out like a math problem, like a video game. Survive this storm, y'all. And I'll do the same. Try to survive. To stay cool. But yeah, tornadoes, man, up through here. Oh yeah, and so this Helene's gonna Fujiwara with the energy. Is it from John? I don't know, but when it gets up into the middle of the USA. So we it's like mythological storm. So you I guess it's like a real life myth and, and you too are a mythological character but you you're real you have feelings and maslov's hierarchy of needs all right so let's survive the storm let's stay cool let's try to have a great holiday season and kick off the roaring 2020s y'all world peace god bless everyone merry christmas happy holidays talk to y'all soon